Hello, today we're going to show you how to clean the rails on your version 10 printer. For the materials we need, we're going to need some paper towels, we're going to need some rubbing alcohol, you can use denatured alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, we're going to need a lubricating oil, we recommend using 3-in-1 oil, that's just a generic over-the-counter oil from your hardware stores. Uh, and for the tools, we're going to need uh, our Allen keys that came with the printer. Uh, you can also use uh, power tools to help assist to speed it up. If you are using power tools, please make sure that when we retighten screws, you do not tighten them too much so we don't uh, strip any parts. Okay, so in order to clean the rails of the printer, we first need to take off the bat, and we're also going to be detaching the X rail from the printer as well. So let's go ahead and take the bat off. There should be four screws where it's secured on the underneath side. And then we are going to take off these four screws to take the X rail off of the Y rail. It might tip over to one side, so be sure to kind of hold it and catch it. And now you're going to want to remove the belt guards from both of the rails. So that is this piece of uh, plastic here. And to remove that on the X rail, you should go ahead and slide the uh, X car over to one side and then pull up like so. And then you can pull out. For this one, you can just pull up. And now the majority of the rail here is exposed and we are going to clean it. Just over the course use of the printer, regular maintenance should be done on the rail. Uh, clay dust can settle on it, just dust from your workshop or your environment just over time gets on the rail and that will just add friction to the system and we want to make sure that it stays as frictionless as possible. So here I have some uh, denatured alcohol, I'm just spraying it onto a paper towel and we're going to scrub the sides of the rails. And on the rails, the part we really want to scrub the most is right here. There's a silver looking round rod here. My finger's running over. It's near the top side of the rail. And we want to get that part as clean and as dust free as possible on both sides. If there's any material or clay underneath the belt here, what you can do is with your hand, you can kind of try and help pull the belt back a little bit and scrub in there in that cavity as well, if there's any clay dust in there. Once the rail is clean, we can then go ahead and add just a very few drops of your lubricating oil to the rail. So uh, we recommend using 3-in-1 oil. In this video, I'm using air tool oil. That is an acceptable substitute, but please try to use 3-in-1 oil. Okay. Once it's on the rail, go ahead and make sure you move the car back a bunch, back and forth without spinning too fast. Be sure then to go ahead and wipe up any excess oil that may have fallen down. Make sure you don't wipe off the part we just lubricated, however. And you should go ahead and repeat this process for all three rails, for the X rail, for the Y rail, and then for the Z rail, you can't move the Z rail up and down manually. So if by chance this rail has gotten dirty, go ahead and perform the same procedure on it of wiping down the sides of the rail with an alcohol wipe or a alcohol paper towel with alcohol on it. And then go ahead and home Z. And then in the interface under the jog movement commands on the home page, go ahead and say Z minus uh, 100 until it gets to zero. And then you can push home Z again and move the Z rail back up and forth to make sure that the oil gets a good uh, distribution along the whole course of the rail. Now we're going to go ahead and reassemble the X and Y rail together. 
go ahead and get some lubricant on this rail. And then for these uh, belt guards, make sure that you put them back uh, the way they were. So the one for the Y rail may be only able to be used on the Y rail. Flipping it around or using the X rail one may not be compatible with the Y rail belt guard. If these screws are not retightened properly and if they are too loose, they can cause the X rail in the printer bed or the bat to shift and move a lot. So please make sure that these screws are retightened sufficiently. To put the belt guards back in place, you should go ahead and slide it in. Make sure that here at the base of the machine, the Y belt guard slides into its slot. And then go ahead and push the Y rail all the way to one side and then bend up and push the belt guard back into its slot. And as I just said earlier in the video, they're not compatible with each other. I just attempted to use the X one on the right rail, so let's make sure we use the correct belt guard for the rail. And then same procedure, go ahead and push the car to one side, pull up here, and go ahead and insert it. Once you're done, make sure that the both X and Y rail have good movement so you can slide and forth back manually and make sure that everything is uh, running smoothly. And that is all you need to do to clean the rails on our version 10 printers.